Hi Techie guys, I am Nand Kisho Swami and in this particular tutorial we would be learning about reading the data from excel sheet and writing the data into the excel sheet. So let's get started. Uh, go ahead and just click on the new and the task editor. So you would be prompted with the task editor and then have an excel spreadsheet. Just create an excel spreadsheet with certain data and for now we are using this particular excel sheet which contains three column basically so the column one or the column a contains the name column b contains the age and column c contains yes and no comment so that comment would be uh, passed from automation anywhere and automation anywhere going to read the data from column one and two and write the data into the column c or third so for now we can see the data starts from the row number two and it ends at the row number six so basically there are five rows to read so the data we have which is name as age and the data that we're going to add is comment so let's go ahead and create these three variables so first one is name then second one is is third one is comment And we also need a counter which will count the row from 2nd to 6th. So let's have count or my row. Let's have a row. And the count value, we're going to set it to 2 since we're going to retrieve the value from row number 2 first one contains the header and now to perform any excel operation we need to first open the excel file so go ahead and just locate the excel from your uh, activities so there we go so here we have excel just drag and drop the open spreadsheet option and just browse your spreadsheet just make sure the open spreadsheet is checked out and you can have session name as you wish but for now we're going to leave it as default and click on save and we can also define if we need to retrieve the data from a specific sheet if not then it's going to retrieve the data from active sheet so for now we're going to have it uh, as a default since all the data is in first sheet so let's save it and the second one we're gonna have a loop to get the data from five rows so since the, there are five rows then we're gonna have a times loop and we're gonna run this loop five times so second one second thing that we need to perform is get the data so again go back to the excel and get cell so drag and drop session name is default which we already left as default when we open the spreadsheet and now we will define which cell value it should grab so we're gonna specify the cell so first we will get the name so names are in column A and the value is in counter or row. So the row's current value is 2 so it will give the value of A2. Then we are going to assign that value into the name. Save. Similarly just repeat the same thing for A's. So make it B same row and we're going to store into the age 
now we will prompt the user to choose yes and no so let's look for the prompts so there we go with the prompt and our prompt is yes and no so give a header name so it's yes no comment uh, first name and the name value will come from name variable similarly age that will come from age variable and whatever the user will choose whether it's yes and no that can store into the comment variable so once we have the value into our comment variable we are gonna set that value to our cell C or uh, row C for uh, sorry for the column C in the same row so go to the Excel look for the set cell just drag and drop same default session specific cell cell is C and the same row value is from the comment variable and save it so just drag and drop on the top once the first row is completed then we want to increment the row value by one so now look for the variable operation to increase our row value by one so our row equals row plus one and click on save so let's go ahead and save it and run so it will open this spreadsheet first there we go and retrieve the data from first row which is here and what would the option we're going to choose so I'm going to choose yes and click on OK so that option is updated into the Excel spreadsheet similarly I'm going to choose no so there we go no then no then yes so it's reading the data from Excel and writing into the Excel now we can also at the end have the Excel sheet save and close so again go back to your Excel option and choose close spreadsheet session name is same and if you don't want to save the spreadsheet then you can choose this option or check on this uh, checkbox otherwise by default it's gonna save the values so that's it in this tutorial thanks for watching see you in next tutorial